Hello boys and girls, Cleo of Fight here, and I decided that today was the day that we make our courageous foray, foray, not as exciting, back into the horrific world of Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition. I am going to be playing with a wireless Xbox controller, hopefully it will work, if not I am going to die in more ways than the game even intends, and I did beat and play this play and beat this game ages ago on the PS3, but I have not played it on PC, so this should be fun. And um, if the camera suddenly turns off or whatever, it's probably because I punched it. Just, just gonna throw that out there. Right, let's start. Alright, so here we go. I'm kind of expecting it to mess up a lot, <laughs> just because I've got a lot going on. All right, let's see. Uh, what do I want my name to be? Um, Juan. I don't know why. <laughs> Whatever. That's right. He's Juan, and oh, it's not working. Enter. Okay. Uh, sex? Yes, please. No. Uh, class? You should always, always, always start with sorcerer, so that you get a little thingy that shoots at people, whatever it's called. <laughs> that was, that was sense making. Although pyromancers are fun too, I like pyromancers. Um, deprived, unclothed enigma, only armed with cloud and old plague shield. Yeah, I'm not that hardcore. Bow wielding hunter. Let's go sorcerer. <laughs> Gift should always be, eh, I'd go with master key or I would go with tiny being. are all terrible looking. Dark Souls is not known for being attractive. Let's be the jubilant Katarina. And let's have receding hairline. And let's have bright red dark bright dark red hair. <laughs> wow, he's he's gorgeous. What? Why can't I Oh, physique, sorry. All of those look weird. He will be large. Alright. Let's go. Yeah. Get this party started. Let's get started. On In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Ugly dragon. Dragons should always be but attractive. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Really? I thought with fire came cooked food. Heat and cold. Life and death. Opposites. And of course, light and dark. Burn, then, baby, burn. From Just the go dark, inferno. They came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Cool, we're making orcs. Oh, no. Nito, the first of the day. See, handling fire when you're a bunch of corpses doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, what if you slip and trip in the your own fire? The witch of Izalith and her daughters of chaos. Yeah, chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. That guy does not look like the Lord of Sunlight. That guy looks like the Lord of Depression. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. You cute. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. The dragon had a mouth and a mouth. Mighty Why would you need a mouth and a mouth? I don't even know why I You can't kill a dragon with fire. Everyone knows that. Unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Don't be 
to hear the disease. Just, just death we take care of. And see the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. He's got two tails too. That's cool. That is an ugly ass dragon. Thus began the age of fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Pretty good Even now, there are Pretty only good. embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch it! Oh God! Don't touch it! Carriers of the accursed dark side. Dark side. Puppy. What? You have bad timing, dog. Indictment. Slip, slip. Ah, oh, I couldn't read that. <clears throat> All right. That rat just disappeared into nothing. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. Ugh. It's gross looking. I and sign in up this, for this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away. To await the end of the world. That does not sound like a very fun afterlife. I'll pass on that. Here's me. This is your fate. I'm chained up. Oh god, that is an ugly rat. Everything is so ugly. It offends me. Now I should be a corpse? Yes. Yes, I am. Still jubilant, but a corpse. Oh, thanks, I was getting hungry. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna kill you. I mean, uh, hey, what's, what's up? Thanks. Hurry, eat the essence. Oh god, we gotta turn the... Reverse, cause I'm a weirdo who plays on reverse. Alright. So, let's pick up... Let's pillage that corpse and get the key and somehow I'm no longer chained. Oh, we should read all the messages. Most of these were already put there, but it's really funny when you get to the messages that people left and it's like, safe area, so you know that there's a boss around the corner. I can't take this. Too bad. Right stick, camera controls. I know. You having fun lamenting in there, buddy? Attack. That's awkward. Hmm. Er, I'm gonna kill this body. It offends me with its ugliness. I'm gonna attack it with my barely anything there sword. There's that guy who we will be killing presently. Strong attack. Kill that killer. Or be defeated. Whoa, where are you going? Oh my gosh. You're a masticated corpse. How do you have so many health points? Let's take press hold B. Dash. Oh, I'm dashing. I'm dasher. I'm a reindeer. Target lock and release. Got it. Boom! 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 I just accidentally almost used an item, except that I didn't actually have any items to use. Oh. So why hold it double hand which looks pretty funny? <laughs> it's a little tiny. <laughs> yeah, if you double hand a weapon, it's supposed to do a hundred 
and 50% damage. And uh, uh, like some swords are so heavy that you can only use them if you if you hold it like that. But then you can't use your other hand. Obviously, you can't hold a that fame rate. Can't hold a shield or anything. Press the bonfire. Recover HP. Well, I don't need HP, but I will light this bonfire so that I have a save point. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the Dark Souls is not as hard as Demon Souls because you have checkpoints. Remember Demon Souls? There were no checkpoints. There were just sec sections. Gee, I wonder if I can break through that wall. Not yet, though. Noisy, crunchy ground. It's so noisy and crunchy. Makes me want Rice Krispies. But everybody wants to want Rice Krispies. Can we open this yet? This is a good idea. Honey, I'm home. Now you can defeat him here at the beginning, but it's really hard and kind of pointless. Get away! I'm gonna do you! I'm really- I'm safe now. That was good. That was so close. I'm gonna light this bonfire in the middle of the sewer. <laughs> Whatever. I light bonfires in the sewers all the time. Get your shield! Uh, you lied. There is no shield. I'm gonna duck in through here. Get in the dirt. Thank you. This isn't here, kind of. Start. Arms icon. Arms icon. That one. Shield. Oh, that's not it. Oh, okay. It's not that one. It's. Nope. There we go. There we go. Now I can do that. We've left you to put gods. So now we can not instantly die. Because these guys will get you. These guys will get you. Yeah, look at my two damage per turn. Per turn. Boom! Where are you shooting, buddy? I'm over here. I know you're a corpse, but come on, get to the program. Oh my god. I hate hitting the wall in this game. I also love that it takes him this long to swing this little tiny... <laughs> to be honest, it looks like it's made out of iron, so... Turn around so I can stab you from behind. Okay, face me here. No, face. Oh, I'm trying to get behind him. It's not working. I can't wait to get better. So let go. Oh my gosh. Almost there. He's almost dead. Oh, I'm out of energy. Yes, run away so I can stab you with meat. Stab you with meat. Stab you with meat. Thank you. Holy cow. Change weapons, toggle items. Dagger. Dagger, dagger, dagger. That's not it. Dagger, 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 dagger. Wow, that does so much more damage. Thank you, dagger. I love you, dagger. Now, you are probably wondering, if she's a sorcerer, why isn't she doing magic? The answer is because in Dark Souls, you need a talisman to do magic, and I don't have one yet. But soon, my dearies, soon I'll get one, and then I can do the awesomeness that is Soul Arrow, and I will just cheap shot my way through the game. There's a, little, there's a little bit more to it than just that. Oh my god, it's dark. Now we gotta go around and see that guy. Backstep. Roll. Man, that frame rate is amazing. But I can only blame my computer. It's my computer's fault. There's that one. How do I... I forgot how to get that. Oh. I think you, like, roll... Or something to get up there. I don't know. I don't know how to get that one. I forgot. It's been a while. Been a while since I played this game. I don't know why I just did that to you, to your ears. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I apologize for that. Here I'll uh, I'll stab a, a guy and pretend that that guy is me and vicariously do penance that way. So here's a wall. We need to get behind this wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh 
Oh yeah. Oh man, I got out of the way of that. Did you see that? I was a ninja. I was a oh, mother of a ninja. You. You're no hollow. Well, technically I am. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. In that I order. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Can I have your armor? I mean, sorry. I'm so sad that you're going to die. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, blah, blah, blah. the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Thou this, thou, thou, thee, thou, thou. Got it. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. An undead favorite. Yes. So Estus flasks is, 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 are another way in which Dark Souls is not as hard oh, as this. Demon Souls. Because you always start with at least five, five and you can upgrade. Time you after death. So go now. And thank you. No problem. Then he's gonna die. As soon as I leave the room, he's gonna die. But anyway, unless they've changed it in the Prepare to Die edition, uh, you always have five, you can upgrade it, and basically every time you rest or whatever, it'll get refilled, and so you always have healing items, unless you use them all up, obviously, instead of having to buy or find every single one. Yeah, rest at bonfire, replenish Estix fast. And he dies. I'm not doing it. There he goes. And I somehow got the souls from it. <laughs> that makes so much sense. <sighs> can we open this yet? We can. So that goes back to the bonfire. Where we can save if we want. But I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna kill this guy. As soon as I remember the kill button. Look at that. 50 damage per hit. Not 2 damage. So much more. P preferable. Oh. We were trying to figure out how to get over here. I think it might be this way. I don't know. We'll find out. Wield right weapon two-handed. Yeah, I got the dagger. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> right bumper. Left stick and right bumper kick. Huh? Stick and right bumper kick. Left stick and right jump attack. So that works. Oh, it's forward and then. Nope. I was doing it. Okay, got it. Anyway, that's a great way to interrupt uh, some of the enemies, but if it's hard to pull off, sometimes it's easier to just. Alright, so there should be an archer around here. Resting of bonfires revives enemies, unfortunately. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Now, let's oops, see if I can equip my. Uh, equip the palace! <laughs> Alright, so now what we want to do is uh, we can switch out and we can use it to cast Soul Arrow! <laughs> Whoa! Not the guy that I wasn't facing. Now this is a beautiful little shooting dude. But as you can tell, there's that little number over the spell, and that's how many times you can cast it. So it's kind of like Final Fantasy VIII in that sense. Um, and some of the spells have very low amounts of how often you can cast them. I think the, the basic fire one has like five. So that can be a problem. Um, that's why, you know, it's good to keep the magic in reserve, even if you are a sorcerer. So we got that guy, and then there's this guy. Ooh, and I just mistimed that, so I got hit by the arrow, so that was dumb. Um, yeah, one of the biggest things you have to be aware of in this- Whoa, game! Okay, freaking attack him! Attack him! His timing. Uh, 
timing is incredibly important in Dark Souls and Demon Souls because you can avoid attacks or you can get gutted by them, you know, and it can be a split second difference. So, in that sense, this game really does require you to pay attention. You can't button mash. Even, if, even when you're in the top level, you know, you're all maxed out and everything, the second that you, you know, hubris, probably before the fall, the second you're like, oh man, I'm untouchable, you're gonna get killed. That's, that's how it happens. With Catalyst equipped, you use the sorcery. With falling, blinding attack, short bow, okay. Behind an enemy, critical hit. Parry. So now the question is, can I equip the bow to this one? I don't know. Unable to wield with defensive stats. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Um, left, trick, left trigger parry. Repel. Right, so we need to do that right as they're attacking us. The first... Uh, what is his item? X. There we go. So we're gonna try to repel, repel, blah, repel his attack. So... Oh, missed. See, it's very, it can be very difficult. Nope. See? <laughs> Fucking. There we go. And it gives you, whoa, hitting the wrong button's always great. Oh my god. Also, you have to be careful because freaking, oh, how did I get into two mode, two handed mode? Oh my god! I keep hitting the face buttons, thinking that they're attack buttons, because in every other game, those are the attack buttons. <sighs> yeah, using the trigger buttons to attack is very weird at first, but you will get used to it. Or at least you should get used to it. Um, so that was embarrassing. Now I'm down to one Estus. 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 So that's fun. It's locked, right, I have to go that way. Uh, I have to kill the guy first. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the bonfire and get my Estus flasks uh, replenished because I am going to try to kill him. And I think you have to kill him actually. And it's very difficult to do if you have no, um, no health items in reserve. Also, falling damage is a huge concern with uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. You can very easily die from falling damage. Attuned magic is how you change what skills you have uh, equipped. Because, yeah, you have to equip your spells. So now because I did that, everybody's going to be alive again. But that's okay because... Okay, so the thing's not back there. Um, you still get experience every time. So I'm going to try to... Oh. Fucking. Oh. oh my god, okay. No! Oh, wrong button. Nope, I'm doing the same again. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> this is really embarrassing, I'm sorry. There we go! Kill that mother lover! But yeah, reposting- whoa! Amazingly, I didn't die from that, that's funny. Anyway, reposting is great. Reposting is great if you want karma on retina. Uh, reposting, reposting, whatever, um, is amazing for doing damage, because you do a lot more damage, you get an opening. A lot of guys, they guard so well that reposting is the only way to do damage to them. And certain weapons actually do a lot more damage if you are reposting. Um, I had a, I forgot what it was, I think it was a rapier that did something like three times the damage if you did it reposting. Ah. Boom! Got it that time! Yeah! Woo! Fist bump! Gently though, because my desk shakes a lot. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you can't get cocky, because as you saw, even that penny ante guy was cutting me down to size. Derp, silly sayings. Switch to the other guy, thank you. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. What? I totally timed that! No! Oh my god! I keep hitting the wrong button because I'm dumb. 
Nope, 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 no, I'm gonna try using my thing a little bit. Boom! 85 damage! Boom! 85 damage! Boom! Oh, I just wasted that. So, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Go away, dog, I'm busy! He's always like, I want to be in the room. Oh, you want, you're in the middle of recording? Then let me suddenly decide that I want to be outside. Okay. I don't remember if you can repost um, bow shots. I don't think that you can. I don't think there's any catching of arrows. So let's see if we can repost this guy. Repost, repost, whatever. They both sound wrong. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> That was... No, that was... No! Go! I hit the wrong button. Well, let me take this opportunity to take the dog. Oh, crap. I'm... Ah. So there's no pausing. Hopefully nobody attacks me for 10 seconds. Okay, butt face. Let's go. Okay. So, good. I am not yet killed. That's good. I gotta wrap this video up in about 10 minutes though, cause uh, I told y'all that I would be playing um, Left 4 Dead with my Fangirl Fusion co-hosts, which if you don't know what it is, um, by the time this video goes up, then you need to check the Facebook page, cause it's awesome and super cool, and uh, basically, dog scratching to get back in, nope, you had your chance, uh, it's a podcast that I'm starting that I'm not going to go into too much detail right here because I'm probably going to do a whole video about it and you can just go watch that video. But basically it's a podcast by girls for girls, but it's all, I mean, you don't have to be a girl to watch it. It's just, yeah, whatever. Um, it's going to be about gaming and comics and stuff like that. But it's actually going to be about gaming and comics. It's not going to be like, you know, oh, we're so oppressed, whatever. That kind of thing, so. It's fun. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. We're going to try to do the first one this Friday. But anyway, we're all gamers, so we're going to start playing games together. And boom! Yeah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you shiv a corpse. Oh yeah. Alright, alright. Let's go fight the boss. 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 Oh god. Freaking orient on that guy. Thank you. Boom! Aw, oh, he didn't do it. I was trying to do a jumping thing. Oh, okay. No, no, that's not the button I meant to press. God. Oh, I did it again. Why do I keep thinking that X is the attack button? I don't know. I'm just dumb, I guess. No! Oh, I keep accidentally two-handing my stuff. What was that little footsie work? You're a corpse. You can't do footsie work. It's silly. Alright, so... <laughs> I just wasted so much of my stuff. Oh, I need to stop doing that. Oh man, sounds like the boss is getting agitated. And every... Oh, I just did it again. Oh my god. <laughs> every time I go to a, a bonfire and I wake everybody up again, I like to kill them all. Oh, there's my stuff. Oh, that's an important lesson, too. Um, so, when you die, you have one chance to go back to where your corpse is. And then, uh, if you press your buttons on that thing... Hold on. I am... Whoa! Backstabbed! Booyah! Anyhow, if you go back and you... Oh, Long sword, yeah. Uh, pick this thing up. Boom! You get all your souls back. So, but you only get one chance. If you die on your way back to where you died, then where you just died becomes a new spot, and you lose everything. Um, basically, whatever souls you have at that point that you die, that's what goes into your spot, and you can only have one spot at one time. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, luckily, you do not lose items for the most part when you die. I think there's like a couple of items that are special. But for the most part, you keep what you what you have, and uh, you get all your estus. Yeah, you get all your estus and stuff back. But everybody, uh, 
response, and especially in some areas where you're trying to get to the end, having everybody respond gets really, really, really freaking tedious having to kill everybody to get back to the area that you're trying to get to. And especially since you can die really stupidly and easily from from guys. All right, are you ready? Um, actually, let's, can we, can we equip? Can we equip the longsword or is it too powerful? Uh, yeah, see that one, we would have to use it both hands to use it. So I'm just gonna keep the dagger for now. And I'm gonna switch to the catalyst. Oops, I'm gonna switch to the catalyst and I'm gonna hit this guy as many times as I can before this thing breaks. The thing is that it will break, so. Actually, I'm just doing it three times. I was not even hitting him. Whoa! Oh, shite. I didn't get to do my... Oh, I died? I died from landing at his feet. That was a big ass butt. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so that was not what I was trying to do. Let's try that again. Okay. No more dicking around. Let's just go straight up, kill the guys, and then kill the boss. Okay? This is silly. This shouldn't be taking so long. La 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 la. Boom, you're so scary. Oh my gosh. La 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 la. Kill you. Thank you. You will get so impatient as you're playing this game and you're going through the same area over and over. They'll just be like, oh my god, I just want to give to the guy. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. Oh god, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Why did I do that? And uh, magic, most of it will hit whoever's there in the way first. So... Keep that in mind if you are using limited amount uh, spells and you're trying to save them all up for a certain guy. Because oh, at least my stuff's right there. That's nice. Boom, boom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Can I just pick my stuff up. Yeah. At least I'm not losing tons of progress by um, not recovering my souls. And, once you build up souls, you can use them to, to level up. Now when you do level up... What?! The crap! Let's see if I can... Oh, I didn't... Do the thing! Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Let me do the thing, please. Let me do the thing. Please, please, please. Ugh, it's not doing the thing! Yeah, getting the backstab to work, I remember, was kind of a pain in the ass, but that's alright, whatever. Okay, now let's kill the boss, and we're just gonna drop right down and land on his hand and do damage. So, oh, yeah, look at all that damage, look at all that damage, uh, 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 get her done, get her done. Ooh, that's a lot of pain that I just incurred. Let's use an Estus Blast. And let's whew, use all of the solar arrows. Now you do have to stop when you use magic, so keep that in mind and make sure that you're uh, far away enough that you can cast it without getting uh, trapped. I'm trapped. There's shit in the way. Oh god. And your your stamina meter, that green one up there in the top, is. Also, something you need to keep track of. Now, I'm kind of digging around more than I need to. There you go, he's dead. Good job. Now, I probably should have let him kill some of the other stuff, but... Big Pilgrim's Key. Now we can leave this area. Humanity, humanity, humanity. Humanity is important. So right now, I'm a hollow, which is why I look like a corpse. Basically, when you're a hollow, you have half as much health, and there's various other effects I don't forget. I, I forget. Why is there still the sound of a walking guy walking around when he's dead? That's weird. Um, however, you won't have people invade your world and try to kill you. When you are not a corpse, when you use a humanity to get back your wholeness, um, you'll have you know full health and a bunch of other stuff, but people can come in and kill you, and it can get super freaking annoying. Because it's basically random. People just sort of invade your world and try to kill you. Because when they do kill you, they get um, souls, and you can get achievements, and just, you know, it's the internet. People are dicks. 
So there's been times where I've just left myself as a hollow and not, you know, gone after, uh, or just dealt with not having as much health because it was, it was easier than having to constantly wash my back. That being said, it can be pretty amazing when someone's after you and you defend yourself and you kill them. And then it's like, oh man, I told you, I'm the boss. You mess with the wrong person. I don't know why I sound like Toby Turner. Um, <laughs> I don't sound anything. I was hoping it'd be something in those pots, but there was nothing in those pots. Anyway, we're almost done with this section, so let's go on to this part. And now, the key you can use on that other door. So, we can go back out here. I am super confused why I can hear that though. Oh, it's this door. Sorry, I'm all going to the wrong place. I used Big Pilgrim's key. Did they add another guy or something? Hmm, I don't know. Good job, go straight ahead. Are there any secret? Oh wait, there's there's the other thing. That's right, there's the other thing. We gotta go back and open that other door so we can get the thing. Remember the one that we were talking about? We didn't know how to get to. Well, I bet you. Now we can open that door. I bet you. I bet you one million dollars. Now the guy should be dead because we killed them before. Oh no. I don't know. Oh! Nope. 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 Yeah. I don't know why they're alive again. Did I respawn? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Like I said, it's always, generally always beneficial to kill them because then you get the points. No, I'm trying to do the... Ugh. I'm trying to be fancy and you're making it hard. It's very nice. Oh. Come on. Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. And of course you'll know if you repost it because it'll do that <laughs> noise. So if you hear that noise, you'll be happy. Alright. Get this guy. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna go kill the other guy. I did it too fast! You know what, forget it. I'm just gonna cataclysm this guy. Catalyst and catalyst this guy. There we go. See, I didn't even need to do it three times. I just needed to do it twice. That's how awesome that is. Oh, the soldier waste cloth. It's probably worth nothing. It's locked! Why is it locked? Okay, so I guess that you might need the master key to open. It looks... There's, there's walls where it looks like you should be able to open through, but I don't think you can. Alright, false alarm. I don't know how to open that door. I was all excited. I thought that we could use the big pilgrim's key to open it, but I was wrong. Okay. Can we roll? Did that do anything? No, it didn't do anything. There's no jumping. Um, however, there are sections in the game where you literally are supposed to roll in a weird way to get up somewhere. So, like, there'll be a staircase and you need to roll off the staircase because it won't let you just fall in some sa some areas. Alright, here's the end of the level. End of the tutorial area, if you want to call it that. Cutscene. Only... In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. So cool looking! Giant crow. I love it. And then he was eaten the end. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Wait, that wasn't the land of the ancient lords already? Yes. Lordra. That is not my name. My name is Juan. <laughs> I think. I forgot. I forgot what I named myself. So pretty. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Oh wait, yes I am. Bleh. Ow! Smack. 
feathers. The giant. Oh, feathers are purple. That's awesome. And here's the area where you will be starting a lot. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, pro tip. Don't attack people because once you attack them, it saves and they'll hate you and you can never make them not hate you. It's awful. Well, what do we have here? So just be really careful you don't accidentally hit them. Be a new arrival. Yeah. Let me guess. Fate of the undead. How right? do you know? Well, you're not the first. Oh. But there's no salvation here. You talk really slow. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. No, I like this place. Better. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. Thank there you. are actually two bells of awakening. I didn't one know there was up one. Above in the undead church. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Cool, let's go. Bring them both. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Something happens. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. No. So, off you go. Okay. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm gonna go save here and then I'm gonna stop this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry if I didn't die as many times as you were hoping. Oh look, somebody else is here! Yay! So this is not an invader, this is just a person playing. Uh, when they invade, they're all glowy red, and it's horrible. But they shouldn't- there won't be one because I haven't used a humanity yet. I'll probably do that next video. Um, but I hope you guys are happy. If you have any questions, or if you want me to explore a certain area first, let me know and I will try to make that happen. Uh, when I played before, I kind of went all Helter Skelter and just went all different places. There's kind of an order you're supposed to go to, just in order of how difficult they are, but you can go to the other areas, it's just a lot harder. Um, but if you guys don't care, I'll probably just go the usual route of getting there. Um, I'm not the best at this game, uh, and especially not since I'm not used to playing on the Xbox, so I'm sure I'll die a lot. And uh, I don't know how to play together. Somebody said something about playing together, and I've never figured out how to do that. But if you know how, tell me, and I'll try to figure it out. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm going to level up real quick. I'm going to level up my... Um, um, explanation. That's not what I want. Uh, a number of attunement slots, stamina, equipment load, resistance to bleeding, powerful weapons, advanced weapons. Yeah, it's basically it's good to, to get a guide of what you're trying to do. I'm gonna do strength because I want to be able to use bigger, bigger weapons. And to level up, it uh, uses your souls. So, see, so required souls 224. So I can put another point in something. Um, and it's the, the number goes up for skill points you use, regardless of what you're putting it in. And I'm gonna put some in there. Alright, cool. So that's that. Uh, reverse hollowing is how you turn yourself into not a corpse. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Oh, what? I thought I had humanity. Where did it go? Weird. Did I die? Hm. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Bye!